a shalom. I'd like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh, and Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the whole flex. Shalom. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm your Hebrew is like brother, Meshava, right here in the city of Detroit. We're going to start, uh, get straight off into this lesson. This lesson is on Jeremiah chapter 50, uh, verse 6. And, uh, and we're going straight off into it. And it reads, My people had been lost sheep. And that's exactly what we've been. We've been lost sheep. If it wasn't for uh, 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 around 1969, when Avin Bivens was uh, the, uh, the reincarnation of uh, uh, Elijah, when he came forth, uh, he brought this truth, okay, to us for us to understand. Out of all thy getting, get understanding. Uh, with wisdom of Solomon makes it clear. You know, having the understanding is what gives us. Uh, the uh, edge of having the truth and the knowledge, you know, that we need in order to grow in the Lord and feed the sheep, okay? And that's an important thing, okay? Uh, their shepherds, okay, have caused them to go astray and because our people have been a wanting, desiring for, uh, and having the itching ears to hear false doctrines, to be drunken of the wines of false doctrines because our people want to believe all of the falsehoods of the heathens, you know, and, and of the Edomites. They want to believe all the American dream. That, that's all falsehood. The, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 concept, notion that uh, homosexuality is a human right. <laughs> you, you know, you know homosexual, homosexuality is not a human right. And when they were trying to get uh, uh, the thing passed for uh, gays to be able to marry, uh, what they were saying, they were trying to say that hum uh, gay gay rights is the same as uh, uh, blacks are fighting for uh, equality in America. It's it, it, you know it, it, it's a completely different different uh, situation and a different fight, but they merged them together. You know, then they came up with that what MLB uh, no. With the Black Lives Matter, or the BLM, I think it came out with that. Anyway, enough belaboring at that point. They have turned their turned them away. They have turned them away on the mountains and see the uh, uh, the religious leaders. You know the 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 uh, Joyce Liars, the uh, uh, TD Snakes. You know the Crefo Dollars. You know. All of these, the baddie whites, well, yeah, they've uh, misled our people into believing falsehoods. And that one image that I use in Caesar Borgia, that Jesus image, you know, all that's part of the falsehood. And they've been pushed upon the people, you know, all throughout all the nations, all of the mountains, all the nations. You find all the people in all the lands have been taken by this falsehood. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11, for, for this cause, Yahweh did uh, uh, allow a false image, a uh, 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 a lie, you know, to be uh, uh, implemented, you know, uh, into this whole thing, you know, because of those that have not been chosen to receive this truth and have this truth. Okay, so they're going to wander off. Okay, like those that wandering around in the wilderness, and they have gone from mountain to mount, mountain to hill. Okay, they have forgotten their Resting place. And see, they have. We will see all the nations of Psalm chapter 83 uh, took a counsel against us. Okay. And so they've made their business to try to drive us uh, to the point where we will have no understanding or foreknowledge uh, whatsoever. You see, we, we, we would not have the understanding. Remember, they would go with that understanding again. We would not have the understanding uh, of having e even uh, 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 realizing uh, the remembrance part that comes about for only for those that are chosen. OK, but for the rest of our people, uh, uh, Hosea chapter four, verse six, my, my people perish for lack of knowledge. If they would just call upon the Lord and turn from their wicked ways, call upon your how about you shine and turn from their wicked ways. The Lord would be quick to hear from them. You see, he'd be quick to hear them. 
you see, but they refuse to turn from their wicked ways. This Psalm chapter, we're going to go into the precepts. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse, we, we in the blue letter. Okay, the blue letter. Uh, Psalm chapter 119, verse uh, 176. I have gone astray like a lost sheep, and many of our people have. Have straight going astray because one, when you're chasing the American dream, you're chasing the bag. And when you're chasing the bag, you're only going to find, find out that it has holes. And once you get it, all that you thought was in there ain't there. It's not there. It's just a bag with holes in it. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Seek, seek the, seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. You see, and as servants of the Lord, we don't forget the commandments of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs chapter what? Uh, I think it's one. And Proverbs chapter four, uh, 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 what the Lord makes it clear. Uh, my son, obey and keep my commandments. And these are instructions for living, instructions for us to live. The word, that's what it is. It's instructions, righteous instructions for us to live. That we, that we must, must, must obey Okay, so that we may be able to have uh, uh, the substantial growth in our spirit, feeding our spirit. This word, this word is like a banquet laid out for us to eat. So we must eat of it so that our spirits may be nourished. You see, uh, you know, you know, Isaiah chapter uh, fifty-three, verse six. All we like are no, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Right. That's the reason why the Lord says what Isaiah chapter 56, verse 6. Uh, seek you, seek you the Lord while he is near. Call upon him while he is near. Seek him while he may be found. Let the righteous man turn, change from his turn from his change from his wicked, turn from his wicked thoughts and change from his wicked ways. Okay, because even a righteous man can get caught up in wicked ways. If one allows himself to go slipping and dipping, you know, and uh, 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 allowing the two thirds to overtake one because one is not centering his or herself in the word and will of the Lord. You got to center yourself in the word because the enemy, the two thirds, the heathens and the Edomites, they're going to come at you at different ways carnally, carnally. And it's by the spirit. Remember, it's this word that we use to hew down the enemy. The weapons of warfare are not carnal. When we're dealing with certain things, it, 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 you can only hit it in the spirit. You, you can't hit it carnally. You cannot. You cannot. You can only hit certain things in the spirit. And with the certain situations that, that, that these fools try to uh, set up for us, we need to be strong in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and as far as the sword is concerned, you know that, you know, that's concerning, you know, Luke chapter 22, verse 36 through 38, but now, we know, the, when, you, when, you, when you're reading that scripture, when it says, but now, that's when it's talking about the time of Jacob's troubles. That's when the Lord has said, okay, for, you know, but I say unto you, now, buy yourself a sword. At that time, okay, those who, 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 who have an ear, let them hear. That is the time when you shall be in, we all shall be in uh, uh, our trans transgression numbered among the transgressors, like Yahweh Who are we but the, what, are we above Yahweh Shai? Well, if Yahweh Shai was, was numbered among the transgressors, then guess what? The time is going to come and we're going to be numbered among the transgressors as we get ready to go into the hour of darkness. Okay. That's when, as the, the, as the trans, transgressor, what was the uh, command that the chief transgressor gave at the time? Because when he became numbered among the transgressors, that's when he, he became the chief of transgressors, okay? And so then at that time, that is when he gave an order. What was the order that, that the chief transgressor gave? He said, buy yourself a sword. Sell your cloak if you have to, but buy yourself a sword. Why? Because we're going into the hour of darkness. You're not going to use the sword to go against Esau, Is Edom, the Pharisees, the Roman guards, the martial law police, the the, uh, the, the soldiers, the troops, the, your political leaders, your uh, 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 religious leaders. You're not going to use your sword against them. You know, you, you use this word on them for that. But it's only Malchus is the only one that Peter popped. Malchus, that, the Malchus represents the two thirds. So that's the only one that is going to re receive a raft of an actual carnal weapon that we will use at that time, during the time of Jacob's trouble. Not now, not now, but during the time of Jacob's troubles, as we get ready to go into Jacob's troubles, 
Yahweh shall say it, but now I say unto you. Not right now, but then. That's the right now. But right now, we were just, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16, we we're just fishers, fishers of men. You know, knowing the terror of the Lord, we, we persuade men out here because we know what, what the terror of the Lord is. But they don't know and, or even accept or even fear the Lord. But they will fear a carnal weapon. But now by yourself for sword. Then, at that time, as we're getting ready to go into the time of uh, Jacob's troubles, the hour of darkness, you know, martial law, and all this and that, okay? For he, he or she who has an ear, let him hear, or her hear, okay? For, but, but for the rest of y'all, that bit of dark saying was not for you. That was not for you. You are to maintain a complete understanding that the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone is, is, is teaching that you are not to uh, take on a, swepper, a, a, a sword at all. You're not supposed to take on a sword. Uh, or the, the, the apostles teach that you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to get a sword at all because if you do, you order, that automatically means that you have lack of faith. Okay, that's what the apostle will tell you, that you would have lack of faith. A uh, 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 bishop, uh, uh, elder bishop, Zacharon, he will tell you that you have lack of faith if you buy yourself a sword. Okay, that's what he would tell you. You see, flat out, you see. So, so according according to what you, how about Shimei al is doing with you in your location, in your situation, okay, then you weigh what uh, man says compared to what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai says, okay? And Salakia, for guiding the uh, this uh, conversation of this video away from the, the actual topic of this uh, video. Salakia for that. Let's get back into the video, okay? Let, let's get back into it, okay? We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath led on, laid on him the iniquity of us all. You see, Yahweh Shah took all that on for us because we could not bear it all. He was the only one precious enough with the, with the blood pure enough to do so for us. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 17. Israel is a scattered sheep, and we are. We were scattered out amongst all the nations. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh did so because of our disobedience. We were disobedient to, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So he had to do something. He had to do something. We were out of order. We, were, we are a stiff-necked people, you see. The lions have driven him away, you see. First, the king of Assyria hath devoured him, and we were. We were devoured. Remember that that him is us, Jake. And uh, uh, remember, we were under the Assyrian uh, captivity. We, we, we done been through the Assyrian captivity, uh, 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 ba Babylonian captivity, uh, the uh, Persian captivity, uh, the uh, 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 um, um, uh, uh, Roman captivity. I mean, you know, now we're here under this American, uh, which is revised Rome uh, captivity all over again. But this is the last one. This is the last one. And last, and last this, and last and last this, it may be a tongue twister sometimes. And last this, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had broken his bones. You see? You see, because guess what? Bones, the dry bones, the two thirds, they've been broken. You see what I'm saying? They've been broken. It's only those of us that in Ezekiel chapter 37, the dry bones that have been awakened, where cartilage, meat, and all this, and that flesh and blood and, bone, uh, and veins and, and all that, that came up onto the bones. Uh, we by this word, this preaching of this word that has come upon us, that has uh, that has uh, uh, brought about, about life back onto us, us bones that was once was dry. Now we are alive. You see, and well and thriving. Okay, you know, for who? Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah. Matthew chapter 9, verse 36. But when he saw the multitudes of the peoples, he was moved with compassion on them. You see? You see? Because they fainted, you see, and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. And that's what we are. Our people are led astray like sheep. Our people wander away. 
like sheep, our people were purposely scattered because we are, are sheep that were being disobedient and, and, and our people are led to the slaughter like sheep. You see, sheep led to the slaughter because of our own disobedience. Look, I'm going to take the time to remind you to press the like button. Go ahead and press the like button. That helps out for the algorithms of the YouTube channel. And also, if you would, please, uh, uh, press the subscription button. Go ahead and press the subscription button. Uh, that uh, allows you, and the no notification bell. And that allows you to receive special notification alerts each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification and or for the provoking you to thought. And so we well, thank you ever so much because as good shepherds of the Lord, our job as always is to provide good grazing pastures for the sheep to graze the water ever so much. Now let's get back into the lesson. Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. But go, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Not to the whole world, but only to cosmos. Cosmos. Only to us, you see. Us, you see. Israel, you see. Let's read that again. I like the that. Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. <laughs> but go, but go, rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see? You see, you can't get around that. You can't go around that. So high, you can't get over so low. You can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. You see? It's this word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's this word. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, inside Joe. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? So check this out. So we're going to go ahead and end the video off right there. You understand? We're going to end it off right there. Uh, hopefully, you were edified by today's lesson. Uh, if not, uh, hey, uh, hopefully, then you were provoked to thought to do better. Uh, and hopefully, maybe you've seen some precepts in this video that you may use to put together with some precepts that you have that you may make an edifying video for the sheep to, to graze. Remember, as good shepherds of the Lord, as always, our job is to provide good grazing pastures for the sheep to graze. Always, as Simon Peter was told by you, I was shy. Simon, Peter. If you love me, then feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. So, the water, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, for watching the video. Uh, and uh, remember to, to uh, hold on. Stay strong. We ain't got long. Keep pushing the truth as much as you can. Remember, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. You can do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth. And remember, you're going to have coyotes. You're going to have those that are around you that, that are not quite right, but profess to be right. But, you know, it's going to show in their diatribe. Remember, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 27. Uh, uh, Praise ye no man until you've heard him speak. For the, the trial of a man is the man's speech, his diatribe. You understand? And so remember that and understand that. And remember, always to try the spirit. Try the spirit of every man. Remember that. And also, remember, this word is the only power that we have that is the true strength and that carries us on and gives us motivation. Remember, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he is going to bust up all of the camps. Every every camp is going to be busted up no matter who you are, where you are. Every camp is going to be busted up because Yahweh Shai you wants to know, what are you? Are you a precious stone of what kind? What, what, type, what type of precious metal are you? What type of precious metal are you? Are you a lively stone or a dead stone? If you got life in you, then what are you doing right now? The Lord is going to sift the house of Judah. He's going to sift the house of Israel and all those that sit on their duff shall be visited by the Lord. What are you doing? And so we like to give all praise and all honor to Yahweh and by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us the true peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom to the hopeful.